Valerie and Adam, it's, it's you who have come here today to celebrate exactly that kind of love. You found that something in one another. And the wedding vows that you'll pronounce here in just a couple of minutes announce that to us and to everyone that you'll meet along the way. So today, as your family and friends and the community gathered here, we promise you our prayerful support and all our encouragement. We'll be praying with you and for you that your life together will be one of patient and durable love. And that in everything you say and everything you do, you'll witness to us and to the world the presence of the risen Christ in your lives and in your marriage. We, we wish you God's blessing and his always. Well, it's here. I hope you were able to get some sleep last night. You are going to look so beautiful. I can't wait to see you. Does it seem like it's been three years? It seems so much longer that we've been together, and I knew from a very early point in our relationship that you were the one. I'm really appreciative for both our families for all help and assistance they gave us. It wouldn't have been possible without everyone's help. I love you so much, and although I'm nervous, I can't wait to see you and marry you. See you at the altar. Adam. Adam, today's our day. Today's the day we've been looking forward to for the last year. There was no doubt in my mind, you were everything I always wanted in a man. Like God created you just for me. From the very first message you sent me, I have felt so much love, acceptance, and security. Knowing how much you love me and believe in me has given me so much strength. I want you to know that I am so proud and honored to be your wife. I can't wait to see you at the altar and to give you a big smooch. Forever and always, your wife, Mallory Wazola. I, Mallory, take you, Adam, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Adam, take you, Mallory, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I promise to honor you and love you all the days of my life. You've stepped up, you've taken on Mallory and my mom, and you've supported Mallory in her dreams. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May, your, may you be poor in misfortunes and rich in blessings, and may you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. When we were 21, 22, we would go to the bar and he would take in his pocket a roll of dimes. And he would peel off a dime and go to a pretty girl or whoever he was trying to pick up and say, I just want to give this to you because you're a dime. But the best news about that is it never worked. His pickup lines were terrible. <laughs> and it led us here today and you got the best dime you could have ever found for the rest of your life. And then you decided to leave your job and become a nurse, and he's helped you with that. And Adam's changed jobs. You know, the strongest steel is formed under the hottest fires. And if you guys can grow and create this beautiful relationship under these circumstances, you guys can do anything. It's so great that you're part of our family because this girl has taken so much care of me and now she's going to take care of other people and I'm just so glad she has you to take care of her. Thank you, Adam. To Adam and Mallory, everybody, raise a glass. This year I was so blessed to get a new son-in-law, great A1, and now I got a new daughter-in-law, great A1, 
to compliment my A1 son, my A1 daughter, my A1 wife, and my daddy. It's a privilege and a pleasure to introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Adam Wazola.